coach uh, obviously came out here, uh, came away with a win, a 2-0 and start. Just first off, overall thoughts on the win over Finley tonight? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a uh, great result, like three goals, uh, clean sheet. Can't complain about that. Obviously, we left it a little bit late. Would have been nice if we could have uh, found some of our chances a little bit sooner in the game, made it a little bit more comfortable. But, you know, I'm proud of the goals. They, they stuck to the script. They continued to play their game, uh, followed the model, and it came good in the end. It doesn't really matter, right, if the goals come in the 89th minute or the first minute. So, uh, so yeah, no, overall, positive result. You know, what? what is the feeling? Um, you've been around this game a long time. You've seen games where a team seems to be dominating but only up one and all of a sudden something happens and now you're in a, in a tie game just kind of what's the feeling or what's your message to the team when you it feels like you're controlling a game but yet you know one slip up right and tied. yeah and we were having a few of those moments you know early in the season where we're making some uncharacteristic mistakes at times and you know but that's what these games are for is to iron out those kinks and you know we're not going to deviate we're not going to change from the plan it's up to them to, to figure it out. And I think, obviously, it's still a new coach, competitive situations. And yeah, I mean, obviously, you can concede at any time. But the girls just spoke about it in our huddle, that they're, they're happy, they're proud of themselves, that they stuck to the script, stuck to the model. And, uh, you know, things came good. We came alive in those last five, six minutes. Um, obviously, it would have been nice if we came alive sooner. But um, we did come alive, so it's all good. In terms of the way you guys want to play, you know, tactically and formation, mm -hmm. what's the most positive thing you saw from tonight's game, but what's also something that you see that you kind of want to work on? Yeah, I think, like, the positive and the negative is probably kind of going to be hand in hand a little bit. I think for us, you know, we want to be patient with the ball. We want to try and create overloads, find spare players, and I think what needs to improve is our ability to break lines faster. Like, we're not supposed to be changing the point, moving the ball side to side as much as we are. At the same time, like they're on the field, I'm not, I can't see the spaces. It's just finding that, um, finding that balance of, uh, you don't want to be too direct, you don't want to go forward too quickly, it's just going to come back. So I think, yeah, the positives are we're patient and they're sticking to the model. They're not letting frustrations get to them and start to give up, they're sticking to it. But I would like for us to kind of, you know, find our rhythm, find our groove just a little bit sooner because we're deadly in attack, right? If we can get those balls in behind, we've got really, really, really talented players that, that can hurt teams. And so, so yeah, hopefully that answers the question. Yeah. Coach, I know it's very early in the season. Yep. What's the biggest improvement you guys saw from this game compared to the first game? Yeah, I think like obviously we, we kept a clean sheet, so that's an improvement. Um, I think we limited chances. I think we still had a few uncharacteristic giveaways, um, but I think they diminished substantially since the, the first game. So I would say that would be our biggest improvement is we definitely worked on a lot of things. and I saw a lot of those um, those details come to life today, but we still got a ways to go. But it's game two, right? So uh, it's to be expected. And I know you guys are on the road to yep. Japan on Sunday. What's kind of the message to the group? Yeah, I mean, one of the things I, I said to them, like I wanted to give people opportunities tonight. I also wanted to limit players' minutes. Like that was very purposeful. I think that can also cause a level of disruption, right? Because now there's lots of subs. I don't know what the number of players were that went on the field, but it was it was pretty high. And so, you know, it doesn't give time, the players time to kind of develop that fl flow, develop that rhythm. So, yeah, I think the message to the players was obviously like, let's keep improving, let's keep taking steps forward. Um, and then hopefully we'll be fresh going into the game because Duquesne was off tonight. So, uh, so yeah, we want to make sure we're fresh just like they will be. Any other questions? All right, thank you very much.